Okay, we have the Intellivision 5 call map control panel with parallel capabilities. We got a motorized breaker, power switch, generator mode, standalone, which would mean that the generator runs alone by itself. End of line, which means the first unit in parallel or the last unit in parallel, depending on the resistor and midline, everything in between the first unit and the last unit in that parallel set. You got a hydraulic heater, if acceptable, USB connection, emergency stop, control panel on, So your first page is your main page, which is going to show your most basic settings, apparent power, RPM, gym set voltage, fuel level, and def tank level. You have pages 1 through 26. Page 2 is your basic engine set points. So you got coolant temperature, def tank, load percentage, oil pressure, and RPM. You got gin set information amperage and phase neutral and line to line voltage readings. You got bus readings, line to line voltage readings and frequency. This is your synchroscope for paralleling, which is going to be at your angle of which the gen set parallels to the secondary or gen sets and set. You got some service information, which would be your SCR and your coolant level. You got analog inputs page with fuel level fuel rate, coolant temperature, and def tank level. ECU analog inputs, which would be oil pressure, boost pressure, actual and intake temp. You got CU analog, which would be at your battery voltage, your CPU temperature, and your D positive. You got gen set power, which is going to show each leg's KW and each individual power factor. You got statistics, which will be your run hours, your number of starts, your air gates, if you had some kind of wireless system with this, and your service time for maintenance changes. On page 12, we got more statistics, which is your kilowatt hours, total downtime, and your pulse counter. Power management screen is dealing with your parallel set points. So in the middle there on active reserve is going to be your capacity of that parallel set. Then you have your binary code one and zeros, which means your top line is going to be your gen set. Your bottom zero is going to be when the circuit breaker closes. These are all sets from one to 32 different sets onto this parallel gen set. You got binary inputs, binary outputs, such as starters, on coils for a parallel and your motorized breaker control. ECU binary inputs, which will be your def tank information. ECU, which will be more ECU binary outputs, like force region and region inhibit. Analog inputs, which will be fuel rates, coolant temperature, intake temperature, and so on. More set points on page 19 with oil temperature, intake coolant temperature, exhaust temp, and battery. Page 20, oil level, coolant level, def take lamp, and DPF status. Some more ECU set points, which would be at your DTEF link, your DEF tank, and servant, which would be your, uh, your soot in the SCR. ECU long gate, which would be total hours of the engine and engine hours. Page 23 is ECU binary inputs again, which would be more ECU information. PLC binary output, which would be also uh, PLC outputs for your, uh, your region. So this is binary code to let the user know if it's on or off. Page 25 is more of those binary inputs and outputs, which is letting the user know if you're on or off. And your last page, your PLC speed request, which will be 1800. It's the main page.
starting sequence to start the gin set. You got an option down here on this tab here, it's called mode. You got the off position. You got the manual start control and you got auto start control. To the right of that, you got the history page. You get your alarms page, which we have low fuel. We got the generator and circuit breaker open and close push button for your motorized breaker. And you have a service tab for a force region or region inhibit or an ECU override power on. To select manual start, you hit the mode button. Make sure you're in manual. Select enter. Mode will change to manual. From here, you'll push your green start button.